So this cargo conversion project started back in November 2022, and this is our third aircraft that we are doing cargo conversion on. This project has been executed by our team here in Yad Technica in cooperation with Israeli aerospace industries. The cargo conversion is done under 120 days. This conversion consists of 1,200 task cards, and what is really a major thing for us is that we are also performing sea check which consists approximately of 600 routine task cards and roughly about 700 non-routine task cards. At this moment we are in Boeing 767-300 Bedox Special Fighter converted aircraft. As you can see behind me the work is almost done. The final touch is being performed. Uh, the work is done in Hangar 2 in Yat Technica, which is located in Belgrade, Serbia. Yat Technica is part of Avia Prime Group. Uh, yeah, Technica is MRO, which has EASA and FAA approved certificates. Uh, I'm a part of Structures Bureau. Our work uh, is defined in the, in the way when the aircraft arrives to the hangar. Firstly, in talk with the customer at this moment, that is the challenge cargo. We need to check the entire work packages, service bulletin, AD notes, engineering orders that need to be implemented as from the C-check side. Afterwards, when the aircraft arrives to the hangar, Weighing of the aircraft is in progress to see what is the weight of the aircraft prior to the work. Afterwards, the guys start removing the cabin, everything, sidewall panels, insulation, blanket. And the phases of, of the conversion begin. The first phase is the jacking of the aircraft as the aircraft is put into uh, zero stress configuration. A lot of departments on the, are involved in this project. Engineering department, material department, project management, that is our Milan Marcic, Israeli Aerospace Industry, their engineering department, and Challenge Air Cargo engineering department. So, all in all, you have more than six to seven departments. Also procurement, so uh, a lot of departments that need to work as one so this aircraft can be done in the way it should. Around 60 to 70, let's say 60 plus persons are involved in this uh, cargo conversion. Some of them are working as a sea check staff, some of them are working as a cargo conversion. Those are sheet metal, avionics, mechanics, fitters, so a lot of cleaners, a lot of workers are, are involved here. Also the sea check is being performed and that is from our side, the engineering side, uh, the most interesting and the most challenging task. Because uh, when you have a regular passenger aircraft, for, for example Boeing 767, you have all the Boeing uh, documentation, structure repair manual, aircraft maintenance manual, illustrator parts catalog, everything. But in the situation when you have a cargo conversion aircraft like this, you need to check uh, the conversion zone mappings that is done by the STC, that is II. In case if uh, our defects that are raised by C check from the guys on the floor are in the cargo conversion affected area, then we are no longer available, we are not, uh, SRM, structural repair manual, is no longer applicable to be used. So we need to find a different way, we need to go via STC, via cargo conversion work, that is RFTA request for technical assistance and repair engineering authorization, which is written by us and in direct contact with IEI, their engineering department, the solution is being provided. The structural modification that is done on this aircraft, section 41 is cargo conversion affected area, section 43, you can see on your right side, that is my left side, uh, this part of the aircraft, the skin has been cut and the pre-assembled door plug is being installed, that is produced uh, in the IEI, it was shipped here and the new door is being installed. That is from station 434 to 654 plus 22 left side and from stringer 2 right hand to 26 left hand, the entire skin is being cut. As for the floor, uh, everything is new. All the floor beams, all the floor panels that were in the passenger aircraft prior are being removed. Side panels are also new. Almost everything in this cargo, main deck cargo compartment area is new. A lot of frames, I mean you can't see them now, are being reinforced. Two frames in the section 41 are being replaced by new. Wings from RIB 5 to RIB 19 are also being reinforced because of the load that aircraft needs to carry. Avionics has a lot of, uh, let's say, modification while the conversion is being done. There is a slight chance that, uh, for example, if the drawing uh, IEI engineering orders which we need to follow to perform installation, there is a, there is a chance that uh, small deviation can occur on the aircraft. For example, the aircraft configuration, the holes are mismatched, or there is not enough space to install, for example, let's say, four panels, shear tie, 
whichever part is needed. We also need to find a solution how to, how to give working steps so the guys can perform it. That is the request for technical assistance which, which is raised by the shop and the repair engineering authorization which is written by us and in cooperation with Israeli Aerospace Industry Engineering we release all, all the working steps how the shop can perform the work. When you have defects on cargo conversion, you don't have a manual, you don't have anything you, you can follow. So you need to find a way to figure out how can you provide a solution which will uh, be, let's say, which will uh, not affect the quality of the aircraft, which will not affect the safety, and which will do all the work. work. So prior to all the defects that are found, if those are some small defects, they can be done normally. But if we have, for example, the bigger defects that skin is cracked, corroded, and it is in cargo conversion affected area, then stress department needs to perform the calculation or if the aircraft can handle that sort of the repair. That is done by II engineering. Section 41 is the most for forward section on the aircraft. It starts from station uh, 92.5 and it goes all the way to the plug to the station 434. On section 41, uh, when we receive the aircraft and start the work, after removal of everything, we start with the floor. Floor is modified and totally replaced to make it stronger because we need that in uh, cargo. Uh, floor is also modified for the 9G barrier and uh, also we modify the frames on the aircraft. On section 41 we have three, uh, three big frames that we modify. Those are on positions uh, 266, 287 and 368. All of these uh, frames, all of them are partially replaced by new milled frames which are much stronger and rigider. We make the fall structure more rigid to sustain the rigid barrier. Uh, after those uh, frames are replaced on uh, frames 287 and 368 we put also straps which are crown fittings for the barrier where the barrier is connected. After we modify the floor and the frames we can start with the rigid barrier. Rigid barrier is uh, a separation between the cargo compartment and the flight deck. Rigid barrier is not just a visual uh, split from the flight deck and cargo compartment, it's also a uh, structural because a uh, rigid barrier is rated to withstand the forces of 125,000 pounds, which is sustained by 9G. So whole cargo load can hit the barrier and it should sustain the hit. A uh, rigid barrier is also uh, for protection from fire and smoke. If there is fire and smoke in the cargo compartment, it should not migrate to the flight deck. So the rigid barrier is there to protect from that side also. Uh, after the rigid barrier, we have one more uh, safety modification on this aircraft. You can see behind me there is R2 window modification. R2 window modification is done because all of the entrances except the LH forward entry door are plugged. So we need another access to the aircraft, to the flight deck, especially from the outside. So if the door, left entry door, is blocked, we need another access from the outside. So the modification on the window is to have a possibility to open the window from the outside. I'm very proud also of my team here. There is 11 guys, 11 technicians that uh, work together with me on the section and I'm very proud to work with them and uh, learn from them and use their expertise <laughs> in this uh, section. We started uh, two years ago and uh, it's, uh, now it's the uh, first uh, project, uh, conversion project in uh, Europe. Uh, we do it uh, 767-300 under uh, IAI STC. And we uh, found the uh, Yacht uh, Technica, it's a very good uh, partner for us, uh, professional partners, and uh, we're very happy. <music>